Hello viewers and learners. Welcome back to HTML coding. In today's class, we will learn how to insert forms in HTML page or we can say a web page. And here we will learn how to see uh, how to insert the text input. To get the text input, we can get single line input also. We can get password input and we can get multiple line input also. Here you can see the sample form. So let's start. So here to insert the form inside that particular HTML page, we need to use form tag. Okay. In form tag, let me start with the form tag. Okay, this is on and off tag for the form. In form tag, first we will type the label. In label, we will type that word for which a user needs to enter some data or for which we want to get input. So here I am using label first name and now we will start with the input tag. Okay, in input tag we will use two attributes. First attribute that we will use is input space type. What type of input we want? So first we want text input. Okay, I am showing you single line input first. So type text and name f name. So first name in short I am typing f name here. So name we need to use to uh, for example in future if you are going to create any JavaScript page or any link page. So this name will get a identifier for this. Now I am using one more input type. So label last name input type and equals to in double quotes text and name for this input type is L underscore name. Okay, so here we have used two text input. I will show you on the web page. Here you can see first name and the text box and the last name and the text box. So in this way we can insert the single line text input. Okay, so here you can see uh, on the web page you have seen that everything is coming in the same line. Now I want to put it on the next line. So what we use? I am using paragraph tag here. If you want, you can use break tag also. So P for the second one also because we have to enter more uh, inputs there. Or we have to insert the password input type and the multiple line input. Here I am using visual code editor. So let me show you again. Okay, so we have used paragraph tag. So that's why we can see now first name in the first line and the last name in the second line. Okay, so let's start again now with the password input. So let me type here. Now we will work on password type of input. Again, we will start with the same thing. Let's insert the paragraph first. Inside the paragraph tag, we are using label tag. And in label tag, first we are mentioning password. And input tag. And input tag, what type of this input is? Now we want to take password type of input. Okay. So the type equals double quote password. Okay. Now, name, this is an identifier, password. Any name you can give here. There is no uh, special uh, that uh, the it is not uh, mandatory to use the same word. Okay, so here you can see first name, I am typing last name, just random alphabets I am typing here. And password. Now you can see the difference here. Last name and first name is coming in alphabets, but password is coming in dot, dot, dot. So that is the use of password tag that it will show you. Uh, it will not be visible on the screen. Now we will see multiple line input. So here for password type of input and single line input, we have used input tag. But for multiple line in text, we will use different type of tags. Now, so I am using label, description and for multiple line input, we will use text area tag. 
in text area tag attributes will be different okay so in text area tag first attribute i am using rows r o w s rows equals to how many rows you want five and column c o l s equals to 20 so basically rows and columns we are using to defining the width and the height of our text area and name i am giving description you can give any random name which you, by which you can identify your text box okay so here you can see there is a closing tag or we can say off tag also for text area so whatever you want to display in that particular multiple line text uh, area that that uh, what i can say that sentence or that short description you can type over here for example i am typing enter description here okay here you can see enter description here now i will show you look here so here you can see description and enter description over here okay so this type this uh, line i have typed here in the text area man okay so in the text area tag whatever you type it will be visible on that particular web page also inside the text area now i will show you to change the rows and columns so that you will understand the difference of height and width of the text area now rows i have changed the rows and column and you can see the size is different in our description box okay so i am changing it again rows to and columns 50 so this is how we can use all these things and this is how we can get text input in our forms first we have learned single line text then we have learned password text and after that we have learned that multiple line comment so this is all about text input in the next class we will learn about radio buttons check boxes and drop down list uh, in which we will, use, we will use select option here you can see a form sample so uh, if you have any query in the in this video you can post your queries in the comment section and for to watch the next video subscribe my channel and hit the bell button icon also thank you have a nice day